Hi, I'm Laura Whitelock, laurawhitelockcoaching.com, and I show professional women and self-employed business owners how to have more fun in their business, make more money, and achieve their most outrageous goals. This is video two in a series on how network marketers, direct sellers, and multi-level marketers can make more sales. So in our last video, I shared three quick tips with you on making more money in your business. Now I'd like to talk a little bit more about networking meetings. Attending networking meetings is the best way to expand your business outside of your immediate circle of friends. So if you want to book more home parties and have run out of friends to book them with, you need to attend networking meetings regularly. And I say regularly because you can't attend just one meeting and you expect to get a home party booking. You'll need to give people time to know, like, and trust you. So pull up trusty old Google in your web browser and start looking for meetings in your local area. Plan on attending between four and eight meetings per month. The point is, don't go to these meetings trying to get something. Go to these meetings with the idea of giving to others because you'll repel people if you come off as being needy. This is something that's hard to do when you've got bills to pay or you're feeling rather desperate about paying your bills. It will get easier though. You'll also need to craft an elevator pitch because most networking meetings go around the room so that each person there can take one to two minutes to introduce themselves and their business. The most effective way to do this is to speak to the problems you solve. So if you sell pampered chef, it's far more effective to introduce yourself as someone who helps people create delicious, healthy meals for busy families that are ready in 30 minutes or less as opposed to introducing yourself simply as a pampered chef representative. So start by identifying the problems your clients have and how you solve them so that you can come up with a memorable way to introduce yourself at these meetings. And you'll find that people will be magnetically attracted to you. You can also start exchanging business cards with people you meet at networking meetings so that you can arrange to meet and get to know them better. I wouldn't recommend calling up someone you've just met and asking them to book a home party right away. Instead, email them or call them and ask if they would like to go for a coffee. And then when you meet, ask them what their biggest challenges are with growing their business. Find out how you can best support them and then they will likely want to reciprocate. And that's when you can ask them about hosting home party. Or if they're in a business that complements you to yours, you might want to just that's a way to do a joint venture. So for example, if you sell Pampered Chef and your contact sells Tupperware, then you could brainstorm ways to run home parties together. Find a third person who maybe sells weight loss shakes, and then you can brainstorm ways to run a larger scale event at a hall or a hotel. And stay tuned because in our next video, I'm going to cover mindset and walk you through how to use the most powerful mind-body tool that's ever been discovered. You're going to love it. And make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss it or any future videos. Thank you.